come on. Those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will, yeah, we know ow, who you are. I will own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Fuck Davis, yeah. aka the uh -huh. Prowler, flipped <laughs> on him and too. Roxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Looking good, Haley. Shift, obviously. Hey man, what's up? I'm all right, man. I'm good. I see you around. Man, I still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. And this is what I mean about... You'll see. Hey, I'll talk about it after. Does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Ben, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man Oath. Go time? Go time. Right here is what I mean about I feel like it should detect your previous Spider-Man PS4 data and transfer whatever the last suit you were using in the game for Peter because if you put the uh, whatever you call it the uh, into the Spider-Verse Peter skin on and then had it with this Miles that would look sick but no it's just as generic default design from the game which is fine but I feel like that would have been a cool little touch you know just detect the it's they do that in uh, Telltale games. If you have like the previous one, it detects like, oh, you have a save for the previous one. Do you want to transfer over this as your previous choices? Like they could just do that. It's not that hard. I guess they would have to put technically every single suit that would ever been in the original game in here, which that is, I guess, a lot of stuff to do, but it wouldn't be that hard. And it would be a nice little detail. You're like, oh yeah, I remember that was the last suit I was using when I was playing. But yeah, um, overall, this game was still great. Um, I have a couple problems with this game, definitely. Um, and it's not the game. I, I don't think it is. It's a very short, sweet game that you can beat in I don't even know how many hours, however long the playthrough was, because I'm basic, I'm done. And I did everything except two quests, which I will be doing right now. I'm going to do them because it's just two side quests that I can just fucking flawlessly do in like two seconds. So we're going to do them um, just to finish off and wrap up the game. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna do the new game plus alone though. That's gonna be completely alone. But just 100%ing the game on this save, I'll just do uh, right now on this playthrough because I think it's fair. Um, but yeah, this game was great. Um, there's a couple problems. The pricing. The pricing of this game is base price. This is just the base price of the game. Fifty fucking dollars. Fifty dollars for this game. Base price is retarded. Absolutely retarded. And then there's the sale price, which is like 30 at the moment that I'm recording. Um, it's been almost two years since the games came out. Um, a couple more months, and it's been two years since the game came out. From my knowledge, for Spider-Man 1, 
they, after two years, the game came out, um, there was the DLC version that was $20 on sale. You could buy the game for $20 after two years, I think, and the game was on sale for 20 bucks with all the DLC. It was a steal. It was an absolute steal. So, why is this game, a shorter game, with no DLC, is $50 base price, 30 you know, fall, or half off. That's my biggest problem with this game. The pricing is terrible. It's not how long it is. I'm fine with shorter games, but you got to price it particularly right. $50 compared to 70 ish for a brand new game still isn't that great. It shouldn't be. Oh, let me read this. Remember of Noble King, Chadwick Boseman, Bizarre Strength, Fashion Woman, Four Generations of Color, Cloud of Ferrari. Cool. Oh, it's a badass logo. Um, but like I was saying, we're a game you could have 30 plus hours in, completing everything, 40 plus hours in, plus the DLC for 20 bucks, compared to this game. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember this. Residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Roxxon Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, newly elected city councilwoman Rio Morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good. Circulatory system healthy. Um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want could... Cut. Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger... I said! Get him out! Now! Alright, so like I was saying, uh, we'll talk about that end credits thing too. But like I was saying, we could skip this, can we? Yeah. Oh, another one. Congratulations, you have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You can now re revisit previously completed missions with re mission reply in the pause menu or previously completed uh, f uh, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man activities in the FNSM app. You can now change the time of day in the options menu as well. You can start a new fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty. That's what I'm talking about. For added di challenge or start new game plus to restart with all your gear skills. Okay, cool. Sick. All right, so like I'm, uh, okay, good, because we're, we're going to just swing there while I'm talking. So like I was saying, uh, the game uh, is, you know, the original one, $20, half off, like on sale, after two years with all the DLC, 20 bucks, 40 plus hours of, you know, game time, which is great, you know, like that's a, a spectacular price, you know, $40 normally, that's still good too, you know, like, you know, $1 per hour, that's fair, okay? I'm a big sale guy, so... I would still wait for the sale, but this game being on not on sale for thirty dollars after two years with only like eight hours of content normally, maybe twelve for hundred percent completion. Which, yeah, I guess I'm doing a whole new game, new game uh, plus playthrough. Which, yeah, that adds more time. So, yeah, definitely, I guess. That's probably more, yeah, 12 hours is probably 100%. Six hours for a normal playthrough. Because, you know, you're just getting through and stuff. But, you know, that's, that's overpriced. Overpriced is shit. These, they gotta price these games better. I feel like when the game came out, it should have been $30. And then on sale, it should be like 15 
Like, you know, I, I know that sounds cheap, but like, I don't know, comparing it to the original game, which you should, like, that's how you're supposed to, that would just make them, why would you not compare these games? You have to compare these games. They have the exact same mechanics. They have the exact same map, except the wintery theme. Uh, the same kind of power stuff, you know, like, except Miles has different powers. I just lost that. Holy shit. Um, you know, same, like, power mechanic. <laughs> Fuck, Jesus, they just shot him in the head. You know, same mechanics, you know, same map. So you have to compare these games. But there's less content in this, and the game's overpriced, more priced. Yes, there is an Ultimate Edition, which you do get the PS5 version of um, Spider-Man, the original, with all the DLC, which is a little scummy. I don't like how they bundle. You have to buy the Ultimate Edition just to get that version. That is stupid. You can also buy the Standard Edition and just buy it through the game. But if you want it in any way, you have to buy Miles Morales on PS5 or PS4 or whatever. You have to buy it to want to play the remastered version of uh, the original, which is kind of annoying. Um, but that one is $70. No sale. Fifty dollars sale. That is only good. Fifty dollars sale. Ultimate edition. You get the remastered PS4 game with all the DLC. That is only good if you've never played the PS4 game. If you've never played the PS4 game, that is definitely worth it. But if you've played it, like me, five times in a fucking, you know, in general, uh, you, you're probably kind of sick of it. You just want it for the platinum, uh, for a quick platinum. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's it's not really worth it. I've been waiting for this game to go on sale for like 30 bucks with the Ultimate Edition. To me, that sounds fair, you know? It's 10 bucks to 20 bucks for... 10, 10 bucks for the remastered, right? And then 20 for Miles. To me, that sounds fair. Or you could do vice versa, 20 for uh, remastered. You know, whatever, however you want to like structure it. Like, however much you're, you're, you're thinking you're spending on the game. So... Yeah, the pricing is fucking ridiculous. The game is great. There's no problem with this game. This game is really fun. If you like the original, you're going to like this one. Um, if you don't like the original, I don't know if you're going to like this one. Because they're basically the same, except the story is a little bit different. The story in the original is better, though. The story is definitely better, because it's more fleshed out, definitely. Cause... Hey, Ma. Oh. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. And I was thinking about Finn. And... Tell me about it. She saved my life and yours. Everybody's. Well, she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. But after seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was, and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? Si. Te quiero. Alright, so like I was saying, the game was way too overpriced. Like I said, if you already played it, then it's worth. It's not worth it. I don't think so. Like the original. But if you haven't, I did think fifty ducks is worth it. But you know, you you don't get that much content compared to the original. The story is better than the original because you have all the famous, you know, Spider-Man villains. Great news. Oh my God, Ganky. Prototype labs in Manhattan are kaput, and so are their reactors. Finally, with the labs and Krieger gone. Feels like Rockstar's butt has been firmly kicked. I bet they'll be staying out of sight for a while. You know, Good. Oh, it's just I don't want to drain any more reactors. You said it, buddy. But I'm glad we were able to do this together. Me too. Until our next adventure? Which will probably be five minutes from now, right? <laughs> Deal. Alright, like I was saying, so... You know, you had the original Spider-Man villains, a bunch of, like, iconic characters. The only real, like, quote-unquote new one that not that many people knew about was Mr. Nettigan. But I really didn't know about him until that game, so... Yeah, that was cool to see him. Uh, and Miles, now people I'm like him. Of of yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's cool. You know what I mean? You got semi-new character that's, you know, uh, kind of unknown. Unknown. Uh, that people got to like and know, which is cool. Um, but this game, you have the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer just isn't an interesting character whatsoever. They changed their original origin. Uh, Tinkerer was a dude in the comics. 
Um, I don't even think it was Miles' villain. I think it was Peter's. Kind of like how the Prowler was Spidey's villain, like the original, you know, like Peter's Spidey. And it was never um, Uncle Aaron. It was never him. So, yeah, it was some random dude. I forget his name, but it doesn't really matter. It was a completely different guy. It was not Uncle Aaron. So, yeah, Miles just doesn't have good villains. He really doesn't. The only one that's notable is Prowler because of the change-up with making him Uncle Aaron. Um, I think that that was in comics before it came from Spider-Man. Uh, Spider so, yeah, it was, like, noted before, but, you know, it wasn't, like, big until that movie. But it was an actual reveal in that movie because no one knew the fuck the problem was, you know what I mean? Like, no one did until that movie. Okay, time to worry about the transmitter. Oh, God. But, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, the, 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 the game's good. The game's fun. It's still fun combat, you know. The story isn't anything spectacular. It's not as good as the first one. Uh, there's no DLC, you know. Uh, there's nothing. There really isn't anything, like crazily special except like the snowy vibe you play as Miles, you get all of his special abilities which is cool you know it's, it changes the game up which is good it definitely changes the game up with all of his like you know superpower abilities with the lightning and the electricity and the camouflage mainly though like the venom power that's definitely the key stone in here because the invisibility you know it works but it's only for like it's very situational compared to the venom where you, you're, you're punching a bunch of guys everywhere, and it's very useful compared to, you know, the stealth, which you, you don't really use the stealth mechanics too much in this game. You use it, like, for certain sections of the game, but you're not using it. Oh, my God, I'm about to die. You don't use it the entire game. Uh, you just use it for certain sections. But they try to implement the stealth mechanics more in this game compared to the original. Um, but there was a lot of parts in the original where they did use the stealth mechanics. But not as much as this game where they actually blatantly let you use it a lot. And it's kind of like, if the original Peter was trying to do this stuff, you probably wouldn't. We would have had to punch those guys when we had to do the, take the picture of the guy so the Ganky could like photo ID them. Uh, they, yeah, Peter couldn't have done that. So some of them, and then even like the bomb defusal, um, that you needed the camera to do it right in front of them. You know, like stuff like that. But, so yeah, definitely changes up the gameplay. Which, that, this game is more, it makes it, make, makes me more excited for the second, the next game, than this game. You know what I mean? Like, it sets up Miles as, like, an actual hero now. Like, now he can, like, stand for his own, you know? He's, like, his own Spider-Man. He can do what he wants. Uh, you know, he doesn't need to rely on Peter now. Which is good. So that means Miles will probably play a huge factor in the next game. Which is going to be really good. Um, to see what he's, they do with his character, and he's gonna have to do with the story. If you could like switch, like GTA kind of, GTA 5 kind of, where you like switch characters anytime you want. I don't know if they're gonna do something like that, or like, oh, only Miles could do this mission, only Peter can do this mission. We'll see. We'll see how that works. But um, yeah, this game's good. It's just the pricing is way too expensive for what you're getting. If you don't like platinuming games, yeah, you're not getting your value. If you like platinuming games, you're still not getting your value. I don't think you are. Um, compared to the original, at least, where you're getting 20 to $40 worth of 40 hours or 50 hours of pure gameplay plus new game plus and, you know, all this shit. Yeah, you're getting a lot of shit in the original game with 50 different outfits and a bunch of unlockables and a whole DLC line. So, you know what I mean. Compared to this game where you just get the story missions and then a bunch of side stuff and that's it. Um, which, yeah, but the... A lot of the new stuff that they added, like the swinging, you know, like how you do tricks, it's more like free flow, like it goes into the next move instead of like, you'll do a move and then it will just kind of like jankily like hey, swing you. I'm catching up on, yikes, I'm the backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest for the Spider-Man? Nope. Speaking of which, I'm not going to be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? I need to find a job. Freelancing with the Bugle was great, but I'd like something steady. Have you thought about teaching? You're pretty good at it. <laughs> Honestly, no. Hmm. No. Maybe. I'll think about it. Call you soon. I think he is a teacher in one of the universes. But anyways, 
Uh, like he, like he, Peter just said, he doesn't need to teach Miles that much. He doesn't need to look over him anymore. Like he, he's his own Spider-Man. So that's gonna be really cool to see what they do with that in the second game. Like I'm more excited about the second game, with including this game. Like this game just builds more hype for the second game. That's all this game was. It was really just you know filler to make Miles more of a hero, um, and to fill gaps in between the, this one or the first one in the second game, which is good, because we want Miles to be already established and, oh, we have to build him up in the second game. So that's the great thing about this game. But my problem is it's not long enough to where it can make a good cohesive story. The story's just kind of like, oh, friend returns after a long while and they turn out to be the villain. Uh, you know what that sounds like? Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, the worst Spider-Man movie. So, yeah, I didn't like that too much. The story wasn't as bad as that. Definitely not. The Harry Osborn hey, actor sucked in that. But, um, but you know, it's still like the same kind of plot line. Like, I don't like that stuff. It just, it's just lazy. But, like, it makes sense. You know, it's only an eight-hour story. They can't flush the, the main villain too well. And it's not like a well-known villain either. So they have to, like, fully establish that villain, which sucks compared to Spider-Man's villain, where Doc Ock's been established many times to where you don't really need to explain who Doc Ock is. So, yeah, and that game's difference was... Building Doc up to be like the good guy, you know, and you don't want to see him turn evil. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest problem in this game. The making the game too short made it so the storyline isn't that great, um, but did make some likable characters. Uh, you know, like the city, city, or like the, I don't know, with the district of Harlem, I guess. Like you know, all those characters you see in the background of all the cutscenes, you're like, oh yeah, I remember doing that mission for them. Yeah, yeah, I remember doing that. The cat guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the the death girl. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Like you're doing all these missions, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that guy. Oh, I remember that her. Yeah. Like I remember doing that mission with that one. So like, I like that aspect. That aspect is really cool instead of just being like Spider-Man and you just see some random NPCs roaming the streets. Um, but you're doing like the same, you know, different missions for each character in the um, game, which is cool. I like that. Um, Genki's great. He's he's really good. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's really just build up for the next game. The pricing's atrocious, um, but it, it's still good. You know, it still works. Um, let's finish off these side quests, though. But yeah, like I said, it's not worth it now for $50 to $30, but when the Ultimate Edition is 30 definitely worth it. When the Original Edition is like 15 to 20 I would say it's worth it. But I really, really hope for the... I really need to sleep. Oh, this is cool. Wait. Um, I really, really think the best price is $30 for the Ultimate Edition. Once that goes on sale... $30, you get the remastered Spider-Man. If you've never played it, it's a steal. Absolute steal. Spectacular game. Um, would I say it's better than this one? Yes. There's a couple missions in that game that do suck. He plays Miles a couple times and he plays MJ, which do suck. But it is a better story. A uh, lot more things to do. Like, tons of more things. Like, it's a full-on, like, collect-a-thon that doesn't feel shit and you have to look up everything. There's only, like, one thing you have to look for, which does suck. There's a couple things about that game that does suck. This game, the only thing to me that sucks is the pricing and the story isn't that great. The story of the first one is ten times better. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's really about it for just what I think about the game. So, let's just finish off these side quests and that'll be it for this playthrough. Oh, shit. Is this time passing or is this just him sleeping for a day or two? Mom, it's a clue for a scavenger hunt. Oh Dad shit! And I used to do these. Did she make a new one? Happy birthday, Miles. Facing the park with the world on your sh our shoulders, we guard the next clue. Oh great! Is this going to be a co actual collectible hunt? I'm going to check this out. See what Mom put together. Oh, they're collectibles. Oh, great. Okay, that's that makes it out of here. At least we don't need to like Check actually 
you know, look, look for them. They show them on the map. And then there's another one. We'll probably just fast travel to all those. Because, yeah, I'm not swinging around just to get those. And then there's one more here. Where is it? I haven't it? been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. Yo. Those trips are really fun. Oh, yeah, he's call probably calling me about... It's weird to think about now. I asked for you for Christmas, Oh, man, Spider -Man. that's great. I love... I mean, he'd love that. <laughs> oh, is that... Tell him now. You're a Spider -Man, one, yeah. Spider-Man. See you soon. <laughs> Tails great. Hey, good to see you. See you again, Elmo. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider-Man. You ready to swing, um, Spider-Cat? You two look great to get Bodega cat suit. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. He's not there. He's invisible. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sick. So that one counts as the okay. So that side mission is done. Now it's just oh, go get the postcards. Um, which there says there's one here, but I don't see it. Uh, which kind of sucks. Oh, do I have to? Oh, I have to get them in order. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. We're just gonna fast travel to them. I'm not swinging around for them. I'm just trying to get them done at this point. If we were still doing the main story, then yeah, I would definitely okay. do it. Natural History Museum. Here's the first clue. Facing the, the park with the world on your shoulder, park, we guard the next clue. With the world on our shoulders, we guard the next clue. Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. It might be what that clue means. Four guys, okay. <laughs> Not that one, right? Here it is. This is just a... Some statue? Where is it? Oh, this. Oh, it even tells you exactly where it is. Okay. Oh, shit. Look out! Oh, up Another postcard under here. Jeez, you're thick. Look. This one's of the Empire State Building. Right, top the Empire State, you'll find a pair of top the blind Empire eyes. State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh my God. Dad. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to see. Celebrate 16. Oh. We'll listen, Tour no. down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Yes. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now, but I would have never made it to 18 without him. Anytime I'd see you with Finn, I'd feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. With Finn, and now Genki, you'll always have family in there. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next clip. Wow. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. I followed the clue and just heard dad. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. Empire State Building. Let's check the clue. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. Like all the way or no? Oh, well, okay, if it was all the way up here, she would have not made it up here. Maybe the clues about the binoculars on the observation platform. That would make sense. Help! Hey, you mixed up the colors on your spidey Careful! Why? 
that. Wow. This one. Martin Art Museum in Greenwich. I remember that place. Find the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hmm. So I guess this is where you get all the Empire last activity State. tokens. I shall. <laughs> Never agree. Where are we going? I want to ping it. The Wrangler bus full of ten-year-old son. It took us three hours to get here, and when we did, who showed up? The webhead himself, battling vulture. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. The thing I remember most, though, you wanted to stay. You told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that fighting spirit. See you at the next clip. Born hero. I think I learned to be a hero from watching Dad. I miss him. Especially now. Underground and rocks on are fighting near innocent people. Yeah, whoa, 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 we're here. I can't speak to that. Also, I want to see Spider Man fuck some guys up. Because when you get a special, like combo, he does like. Here we go. Oh no. Here we go. Oh no. There was one of them where like he jumps up on. Okay, realistically, the cat would be fucking dead. Okay, just saying. There it is. Yeah, fuck him up, Spider-Man. Can I? Wait? Oh my god. Oh my god, I might die. Jesus, why are these guys harder at the end of the game? Like, I've already beaten them. Uh, you know what I mean. Like, I don't think they're... Wait, well, okay, wait, wait. I just realized, why the fuck are Tinkerer's goons still alive? She dead. You know what I mean? That just doesn't make sense. Oh my god. There you go. Ooh. That's everybody. Bystanders are safe. Time to head out. Another Christmas gone. Okay. Here's the modern art museum. I'm the fossil hiding among the modern. Old man. Don't forget to look up. I'm looking up, I don't see shit. Hey, oh. doesn't the museum keep a fossil on the balcony facing the river? Worth a don't look. Don't forget to look up. Oh, on top of it. Next clue. Looks like I'm going to see ODBs. Where money is king, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. Where's the next one down here? Practically drag you and fend to the modern art museum the first time you came. What do we care about splotchy paintings? But your mom and I knew. We had to show you kids that there were different ways of looking at the world. Sometimes radically different. When I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, heads craned up and all, I knew you got it. All that orange and gold. Don't think you ever realized that you could look that, way. that you. Like royalty. Proud of you making it this far. Let's see how you do it the next time. 
Ben and I talked about that trip for months afterwards. Mom and Dad really knew how to inspire. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, lives a monster of a good meal. This way. Yeah, fuck the crime. COD they can all die. Local. Every musician we love played at this cramped little stage. Aaron even got up yeah, there once and said, Nah, it's gonna bad. stop that, so no, 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 no. When he finally told me about his to these. night job, this is where he took me to soften the blow. But he poisoned the place for me. Never took you here because of it. I regret that. You'd love it. Just like I did. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything, my treat. We'll come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Miles. That was gonna bring me to a show. Man. I need a minute after hearing that. <laughs> Speed pursuit. Well, too bad. Just because it's not Christmas anymore. Next clue must be on Bill the Lobster. The guy is pretty monstrous. Well, here's the clue. I know this place. The art space on the Upper East Side. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Woo, boy. Lobster beans. Home away from home. Always we have Waltz right here. Kitchen down south. I was just going to end Keep this. Your mom here on our first date. <laughs> Just about every day after that. Even once when she was pregnant. And she went into oh, no. labor right before. Hey, me. how about you should have done this for the whole game? You can make these play during this fucking thing. Why not, not every other myself. fucking dialogue some option? So stupid. I'm stopping in for some pride. Okay, that's just fucking retarded. Oh my god. Mom totally knew he was stopping here. Let him have his secret. Dude, we're a good team. Jesus. Come up, Spider-Man. I guess this is a good way to like show off. I think the I'm getting the hang of this. See it. All right, where's the next one? 
all the way up here. But we're gonna fast travel to that one because we already listened to the dialogue. I eat way too much on Christmas. Heard how you stop. Oh. I got Harlem better things to do. Coming through. Looks natural. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth, integrity, and facts. I've been tough on this new Spider-Man since the dis There's the art space. Okay. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Should check the gates around the building. Next right clue. Oh, CJ Walker Park. I know this place, up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Man, not ready for this to be over. Middle school graduation. Um. I uh, do want to check my got my. Oh no, we do get more skill points. Oh shit. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so you do get the final two skill points that you need. Cool. Sec. That's good. So once you beat the game, you do get your last skill points. And then... What am I looking? I was looking for gear. Where's my gear? It's not here. You and Finn joked it felt like a royal coronation when we saw the art space building. Your mom and I were so proud. Our son and our almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. I know it made you sad, both of you, to go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One clue left. That you can't wait to get to the end. Finn and I did find each other again. Just not the way Dad thought. All right, let me get these gadgets. Is it? No, it's the suit mods. Yeah, you do get a lot. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking switched it. What was mine? Yeah, that one. It's the Venom one. And then, whoops. This one. Okay, so everything is unlocked except New Game Plus yet, right? I'm pretty sure, yep. We're also going to put on this suit. So we, I think we're, we're probably going to get a cutscene or something's going to happen here. There's no way nothing happens with the final little bit here. Alright, here we go. This is it. CJ Walker Park. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. This hoop here. Man. So many memories. And so we come to the end. CJ Walker Park. Remember when we played ball here in the summers? Your uncle showed you how to take it to the rack. Well, I demonstrated how to throw it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley you to your mom. Do we get a flash? This place bro? reminds me that as crazy as life gets, only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. Not ready for that. Damn. Hey, Miles, what's up? Hey, Mom. Just finished the scavenger hunt. Thank you so much for putting it together. For a little while, it was like he was back. He never left. I love you. I love you, Ma. All right, well, that's, I guess, it. I guess that's it. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100
Hundred percento, hundred percento, hundred percento. Then the last thing I gotta do is New Game Plus, which I don't think I'm gonna record. There's no reason to. I'm just gonna go through the game on my own pace and beat it again. Uh, get the last trophies and all that. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I think it was a good game. Uh, better than the original. Some aspects are definitely better than original, like the swinging. You got this cool ass. I love the new animations here. These are great. You can't beat these. How everything flows into each other. That's such a cool detail. Absolutely love that. But the content of the original will not be beat. The story of the original is spectacular. Literally. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be beaten by Miles Morales. The story is just not as good. We'll see about the second game. It might have a better story, but... Yeah, no. Miles Morales hey, is not going to beat the story. Shut you. up, Ganky. Whoa, um, that's a yeah, break the... They fixed a lot of stuff with the swinging, how it's not as janky anymore. Every movement feels like it goes together really well. Um, and it's really nice. You even got the nice speed boost with Miles with the Venom. It's really cool. All the Venom moves are spectacular. You have all these ones that are great too. This one. I didn't even use that during my whole playthrough. But you know what I mean. They're all spectacular. I love the Venom stuff. You can do so much with that. Um, the invisibility, yeah, it's all right. I get why it's in here, you know, because that is one of his powers, but it's not as useful Miles, as the Venom. I did it. I figured it out. How what? to safely split an atom from the comfort of your own home? That's next on my to-do list. No, speed nonagon. Collision model is updated. Projectile physics is fixed. Frame rate stabilized. It's awesome now. Which means I can play it? Uh, it still needs textures. Sound effects, music, VO. I'll write the music. I could probably do sound effects too. First we improve and design our own spider suit. Now we build a mobile game empire? We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm out doing spider things, but when I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking sound effects you'll need. Ooh, and sketching out a score. Yeah, woo! Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the combat is better because of the Venom abilities, like they really changed the game and how it works. The combo system is completely different instead of waiting for uh, your combo meter, your focus meter to build up. Instead you have the Venom meter, which is completely different than the combo meter, which is really cool. Uh, visibility, like I said, not that crazy, but yeah, it's still a great game. You know, I can't complain about it. There's a lot of stuff in here that makes the game better, but there's a lot that kind of it's like yeah it is a filler game it really isn't it sh probably should have just been a dlc 10 to 20 dollar dlc instead of a whole brand new game um is is it bigger than the other dlcs yeah definitely the other dlcs were like only three hours um this one is like a full-fledged mini game like lost legacy-esque um but the pricing is still not worth it at all um but yeah it's still great i can't complain but i can't wait this game definitely makes me more excited for it too. Um, it's a nice gap. The, this game is definitely needed. It, it definitely is. My biggest problem is the pricing on it. That's really it. Someone and the story isn't the spec, you know, you. the best thing of all time, but it works just to build up Miles into something more than uh, Miles Morales and it's his own Spider-Man, so we don't have to go through that during Spider-Man 2 and drag the story and have to build uh, Miles into his own Spider-Man while we're trying to deal with Venom and Carnage and lizard potentially like i said before how oh we might go into the sewers because a lizard yeah that's why he's most likely going to be in the next game there's got to be a couple villains in the next game because we fought a whole sinister six in the last one um this one it makes sense you only fight like two villains you know prowler and tinkerer um because you know it's a mini game smaller game but the next game we better be fighting a lot of stuff so um, yeah, don't, you know, don't pressure everything, you know. Sinister Six was fine last game, but Venom's a huge character. Lizard would be cool. Um, Green Goblin should be left for the final game. I feel like this is going to be a trilogy. Um, so, yeah, for the final game in the original Spider-Man trilogy, and then Miles will probably branch off into his own games. Um, but Green Goblin will probably be the last villain we fight, because, you know, Green Goblin's Green Goblin. You can't throw them all in. Venom and Green Goblin just don't mix. You had Green Goblin has to be a main villain, Doc Ock has to be a main villain, and Venom has to be a main villain. So, um, then Craven will be his own thing. 
I'm kind of probably like Taskmaster. I feel like Craven's gonna be like Task. Uh, maybe he could be different, but we'll see. But I'm really hyped for the next game. I think it's gonna be re really cool. That's definitely gonna be a day one purchase. This game is definitely not because eight hours is, was just not worth it. I'd rather just watch a game play, play, play whatever the fuck, uh, walk through, whatever the hell. But just to see the story so I don't get spoiled. But you know, it's nothing crazy. It won't be as good as the original storyline wise. But gameplay, yeah, I think it is. And the snowy atmosphere is spectacular. You can't go wrong with that. But uh, yeah, that's really about it for Spider Man Miles Morales. Cannot wait for the second game. But uh, yeah, that's really about it. See ya.